Okay, so this is the Oakwood Community Center. Uh, so this will be the, the town hall for the project and um, also the gateway building for, for visitors. The way we've designed this area is that uh, there are four distinct buildings, um, the general store, the restaurant and guest house building, and what, what we call this is the mixing building, which has uh, the reception, the meeting rooms, and upstairs. Um, it's a foyer where it's kind of an uh, area between the meeting rooms and also uh, the office building to the side there. Uh, the office building on the ground floor has the spa and the beauty salon and um, there's an open office at the corner facing the village and, and a private office uh, for the general manager for the project. Um, if you notice too, um, we've kept um, the exterior materials continuous into, the, into this, this space. The reason why is that we consider this space as, as an, um, an extension of the outdoor space coming in. Uh, and if you notice, uh, there's skylights that wrap around the whole perimeter of this roof. And on a sunny day, you'll see the sun shining directly on the faces of the buildings. So this is the ante room. Uh, it continues in um, from the, uh, the large canopy at the front of the building. And if you notice, the ceiling of uh, the ante room follows the slope of the canopy. So it'll feel like um, uh, extension of the outdoors coming into this space. The reception will be right here, and then um, uh, there'll be a private office to the side there. Um, when you come into the anteroom, you'll also have this large uh, wardrobe, so guests can take off their, um, their jackets, put their personal belongings into a personal space. Um, this is actually important for Alzheimer's design because uh, residents tend to get anxious if, they, if their uh, family members look like they're leaving. So we don't want to show actions of people um, putting on their jackets ready to leave on the main um, side of, uh, of the community building because it will make the residents anxious um, that they're seeing people about to leave. And then as you, as you walk through here, um, there will be a cafe and bar and a fireplace uh, right here and, and a, a cozy seating area for uh, it's for, for the residents, but also we'd like to make this space um, uh, attractive for, for visitors. So we're hoping that this will be a very active space where residents and visitors can mingle. We've sectioned the, the space into kind of two sections. One is the kind of seating area uh, for the lounge and cafe. Uh, but the other side, we're hoping it will be used for many activities. In a typical care facility, um, a lot of the functions you find in this uh, cluster of buildings, you'll find internally within one building. But um, with the Village Langley, uh, the residents actually can walk out of their households and go to an outdoor space and walk to the town hall like you would do in a normal community, uh, which, which is very different than, um, than you stepping out of your room and your, uh, all these functions are within the building that you're living in. For me, the, the thing that I like the most and one of the things that we've has always been in front of mind throughout this whole process is, is the, the home style living and, and the freedom of movement. So trying to mimic as much as possible of the lives that you or I live in our daily life. We can come and go and leave our house anytime we want. We can get in the car, we can go here to do this appointment, do our shopping, visit here, visit there. We can do all that all by ourselves. And, and what we wanted to do is continue to allow people to live the best life that they can live at this particular time in their lives. And so that for me is the freedom to come and go as you please and go and do what you want without being hindered. Okay, so we're inside the general store. Um, there'll be a counter here with candy bars and so forth and a regular corner store. Uh, this will function also as a, as a post office and, and a bank. Um, and then back here we'll have uh, the workshop. And so this will be open for residents to come in and, and do their, their crafts. So this is the general store. Um, so the main floor will have you know, a typical grocery store, corner store type thing. And then on the side of it, it has the, the post office and bank. So the idea of this general store is that the residents will um, come out here with the, the, the caretaker of the household and do their daily shopping. Uh, for, for the household groceries and so forth. So we want to create an environment where people can live uh, their best life, whatever that may be. 
Ice cream, yeah. Ice cream truck would be cool. Right? Ice cream food? Yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah. a good idea. I, I'm sure they're going to want to get put that kitchen to good use. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Spend all that. Yeah, nice barbecue out on the patio there. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe and stay tuned for our next video where you'll meet the team behind the village, coming April 2019.